Winter 2023 video tutorial. It's a user wish and I think it's a nice exercise. Let's take a look at the drawing and you could make a screenshot of that drawing and then follow this exercise step by step if you want. So let's have fun with Inventor. Okay, let's start with a sketch on the XY plane. And this could look something like this here. That's the basic shape. And close this profile. Let's add some dimensions. So this should be 100. This should be 20. This should be 20. And that should be 20 as well. That distance should be 65. And this one here should be 50 would do. Yeah, 50. Let's go for 50. I want to add some points and to make it fully constrained to like this here. And I want to add some points. One here at the center. Another one right here and one up there and then it should be on this line and the distance should be 50 as well like that finish that sketch now i want to add some work points one here one over there and another one right here, just in case. I will need a work plane. I could have done that work plane before, but now I want to add a work plane. And it should have a distance from this one here of 100. So in order to bring this into that sketch, you should, could have reordered that like that, then go back to the sketch, just delete this dimension, bring it that work plane, like that, and now make this line and that projected element collinear, like this. So that work plane controls the height. Finish that sketch. Great. Now I need an extrusion and that extrude should be symmetric and the dimension should be 55 like that. Then I want to use the shell command probably a few times. I will need another work plane before, so let's go for plane and that should be parallel to one of the those origin planes and that would be this one and it should go through this point. So that's at 50 millimeters and now I can split this body here, so go for solid selection on, select the tool, that would be the tool and I want to keep both sides so I've got two solid bodies and I want to rename those. That would be the top and that would be the bottom. And now I can go for my shell command. 
maybe hide this here. So maybe hide those work planes as well, at least for the moment. Now go for the shell. So this face should be removed, that should be removed, and the thickness should be 6 mm. And I want to remove this surface as well. And this one should have a different thickness, and those two. So let's go for that extension here, expand this here. Click to add, I want to add this one, and this should have a thickness of 50 millimeter. And those two should have a thickness of 7 millimeters. So select this one, give it 7 millimeter, add this one, and give it 7 millimeter as well. And confirm. Okay, now I want to use the shell command again. So go for another shell. 6mm is okay. I want to remove this surface and that surface and this one here. And I need again unique face thickness on this one, and this should be 5mm. And this one should be 5 mm as well. And of course, this one here should stay at 15 mm. And confirm. Nice. And now we can go to the bottom part. Let's hide this one here and bring back the bottom body. Okay. Again, I will use the shell command. Okay, so another shell. I want to remove this side here, this side, that side, and this side here. And those two faces should have a th different unique thickness. So this one should have a thickness of 15 and that one as well. Okay. Nice. Now a second one. Another shell. Now I want to remove this surface and that surface and of course this one and that one and again go for here that thickness should be 18 no not like this but go here select it That would be this one here, of course. And this, uh, no, that surface. This one here should have a thickness of 50 minus 2, that would be 13. And the same down below. This should be 13 as well. And confirm. Now let's bring back the top. Yes, looks okay. And now I can combine those two. So go for a combine. This one and that one. And confirm. Now let's go for another extrude. And I want to reuse that sketch here, sketch 1, so make it visible. 
you don't have to put it on reuse you just can could make it visible and then use it so go for another extrude with this one it should be symmetric and now it should be five millimeter and confirm okay i need three circles so I need, let's start with a sketch on that top plane this one here you could cut the graphics if you want and then bring in that working point which should be somewhere where is it there you go so bring it in put a circle right there and the diameter should be 55. Finish that sketch. Seems I've made a small... That's 55, that's okay. No, it's okay. Now, I need an extrude. With that sketch, of course. It should be 20 millimeter. And it should be <laughs> united. So switch back the direction and confirm. Next sketch would be on the YZ plane. Again, bring in that working point. Put the circle right there. And again, make it 55. Finish that sketch, make another extrude with that sketch, of course, join it, reverse the direction and confirm. And there will be another one on top. I could hide that sketch at least for the moment, like this. Now I need a sketch on the first work plane bring in that work point, put a circle right there, and that diameter would be 30. Finish that sketch, make another extrude, again it's 20, should be joined, yeah, it's always the same game, and confirm. Nice. Okay, now I want to reuse sort of at least that sketch here. So make a copy and paste it onto the same plane and that was the XY plane. And of course it's fully defined because it's the same plane. Now maybe hide that body here. Go into that sketch, bring in this one here and draw a line just like this here. Okay, and now I want to trim. So this could go away. And that's not fully defined. That's interesting. It should be. Let's take a look what we can do. It should be fully defined. So that's okay, that's okay, what's missing? That's here, that's here. Let's take a look. Okay, obviously I didn't snap that constraint, so put it right there and it's fully defined. Finish that sketch, bring back that body, and now make another extrude Again, symmetric, and this time it should be maybe 15 millimeter, at least according, no, 40 millimeter according to the drawing. And okay. Great. Now we could add the fillets, or we could do first the 
holes. Yeah, let's do the holes first. So go for a hole right there on this point. The direction should be 20 millimeter and the diameter should be 45 millimeter. That's okay, but I need a direction. The direction would be in this case, let's take a look. That's the y axis. Okay. It should be the other way around like this and it could of course go up to the next through all or two i want to go for that dimension and plus go for another one this would be right here and that direction would be the set axis i suppose not really that's the x-axis so you could use a plane as well reverse this one as well it's again 20 millimeter this looks good plus one at the top right here and in this case i want to use a direction that would be the uh, first work plane and the diameter should be 10 millimeter great i've just noticed i made a small mistake here and that would be the second shell I did on the top body. So let's check it out. So that shell here. Yeah, I've missed that dimension. This one here, that surface should have a thickness of 50 millimeters. And that should do the trick. Yes. Now let's add two chamfers. So go here. And maybe it's 15 by 10, two distances, yes, 15 by 10 or 10 by 15. Let's check the direction, that's okay. Apply, and the same on the other side. And apply or okay. And now we could go for the fillets, at least for the big ones. So let's start with the fillet. And this one should be 10. So here and there, it just fits here. Yeah, it should stop there. Oh, plus, and then go for 15 on this edge and that edge. Plus, now let's go for 20. Um, these here and those up there and confirm looks pretty good all the other fillets are one or two millimeter and I will leave this up to you I will do all those fillets and start the recording again and show you the final part once more and i'm sorry i found another mistake with the same shell i missed that value as well this should be five millimeter not six millimeter so i've changed that and then everything is okay so I hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to maybe my Facebook cat fan page. Or you could follow me also on GrabCat, Instagram and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.